We are looking at the beautiful Lake Como. Today we are going to walk on the Sacre de Monte. So it's kind of like a pilgrimage route. Um, we're just north of Azuccio on Lake Como. This is number one. This is number one. So we've got 14 before the sanctuary at the top. Have a look at little number one. And look at the path that we're going to be taking as well. That's really cool. Oh, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the first bit. See just up there, that's the final sanctuary. And this is where we've just started, the first one. This is the old Royal Road. Strada Regina. Ah, chapel number two. Santa de Maria Vergine a Santa Elisabetta, which means the visit of the Virgin Mary to Saint Elizabeth. I obviously don't want you to go in these. That's okay. A little peek inside. Read that because the writing's very bad. But it's something to do with a nativity. Can I stick my camera in? So this must be chapel number four. Gesù Bambino al Tempio The Baby Jesus Number five. Fourteen in total. It's going well. A dispute of day. Jesus. Quinta. Five. Fifth. 
ganz intricate. So I am looking at a very brilliant app for Sacre de Monte. So for this particular one, the sixth chapel, we've got the coat of arms on the facade reveals that the work was commissioned by the Brentano Moretto brothers from Azzano. Agostino Silva, this name comes up a lot in his workshop, created the statues of Jesus. Who is kneeling down together with Peter, John and James, all asleep. Francesco Innocenzo Toriani from Ticino is the artist who created the frescoes representing Judas, who is leading the guards into the olive grove. And on the right wall, Jesus, who is led to judgment by the guards. you information about each chapel. It's very cool. Let's see. We may have to overtake them. was number eight so it was Jesu something de Spine so Spine or Spina singular is a word I learned this week it means like thorn prickle also fish bone which I thought was good um, and you get beer on the Spina which is when you have the beers that um, in this case it's where um, Jesus is getting his thorny crown Ooh, they seem to all be coming at once now. I can see two more just ahead. The last one is being cleaned, so we're going to hit that on the way back. We're going to do that one on the way down too. Yeah. So to overtake the people in front of us. Now all I've got to do is guess which one we're at. Resurrezione di Gesù Cristo. The tenth. The descent of the Holy Spirit. That might be the sanctuary we can see behind the bell tower. So, in this one, the scene was shaped by Agostino Silva and his apprentices between 1664 and 1665. These are puckly old. It shows the Virgin Mary at the centre, flanked by two pious women with the apostles around her, arranged in a semicircle, and a large and varied group of angels. The architectural backdrop, which widens the interior space of the chapel, is the work of Giovanni Paolo Vecchi. to look. Pigeon? Yeah, I won't do nothing. So 
right, last chapel, chapel 14. The Assumption of Mary. Oh, move you there. Oh, it's very dark. To the sanctuary. Apparently inside is the 15th chapel. Review, though. Just a large year right over there. There's our fourteenth chapel to the sanctuary. This attracts me. Oh, oh, I love religion. Look how beautiful that chapel is. Let's go inside in a minute. This is the 15th chapel. Oh, we have to be quiet for prayer. I think I might have to turn it off. Be rude otherwise. 236 meters. 236 meters. And final view of the sanctuary. It's a nice breeze in here. It's a lunch! We're kind of approaching the two that we didn't stop at on the way up. Ten. The Crucifixion. number nine because it was being cleaned on the walk past on the way up. It's carrying his cross on this one. Uh, yeah. Don't know if there's anything to try and get. Midday bells. 